UCLA, and he plans to attend Jamestown University to play football and look at a teaching degree in Fayette. <laughs> Next up, we have Justin Grubb, the son of Kale and Shelby Grubb. involved in FBLA, FFA, and track, and he plans to uh, do an apprenticeship program to become an electrician. <laughs> Next up, we have Mo Kearsley, the son of Samantha and Vaughn Kearsley. Mo has also been involved in football, FFA, track, and robotics. And he plans to start a mission with the uh, with his church in the next few years. So. Right. And last up, we have Grayson Schroeder, the son of Jody and Amy Schroeder. Grayson has been involved in football, FBLA, and SAD, and he plans to attend the University of Jamestown. So we just want to take this opportunity to thank the seniors uh, for all the time and energy and effort that they put into this program, and while the parents are out there to thank uh, them as well, because it doesn't happen, they can't put in that energy if they don't have the support at home. So we want to thank you guys very much, and thank you for all the, the joy that you brought to this program. These guys have won a lot of games over a lot of years here, and uh, we're going to be sad to see you over Welcome to the barn, ladies and gentlemen, for tonight's game between the visiting Bishop Ryan Lions and your Powers Lake Burke Central Ranchers. Jarrett Van Berkham here tonight. I've got Brad Streifel with me. Uh, tonight, the Lions come into the game 15-2, and two, ranked number four in the state. Last couple of games for the Lions were a 71-46 win over West Oak Newburgh and a 48-43 win over Rugby. Uh, the Lions, our head coach is Broderick Bosch and assisted by Nick Theus and Kyle Girding. The Ranchers come into tonight's game with a 15-3 record on a seven game winning streak. With the last couple of games, wins over Divide County 59-42 and West Oak Newburgh 74-53. The Ranchers are coached by Coach Jordan Carlson and assisted by Tim Nordloff. Well, Brad, uh, the ranchers are going to have uh, hands full tonight. Obviously, one of the best in the state coming into the barn tonight, taking on the ranchers. And yeah, a lot of energy in the barn here tonight. Senior night, um, last game for a group of seniors who uh, had a lot of success here. I was trying to get the uh, records right for the last four years, and I, I've come up with 81 and 12. That's that's a pretty good. Pretty good record for these guys. No uh, doubt about it. So excited to see. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't think we've ever had Minot Ryan in this gym. No. And, uh, and, and to have a ranked uh, opponent ranked that high is pretty rare. And so, if you didn't get here early, you're going to have a hard time. You're going to have to do some negotiating for a seat. Uh, yep. Um, I'm expecting we're going to have a little heightened uh, viewership on the YouTube channel yeah. tonight as well. Yeah. Welcome all. Uh, the uh, Minot Ryan uh, fans out there, glad you could be with us tonight. Uh, had a lot of had a lot of buzz. People asking how we can uh, watch or listen to the game tonight. So uh, glad that we can have some people out there and we can provide a way for you to watch it. 
good uh, a good warm up there in the junior varsity game coming right down to the end there yeah. uh, you know within a few points and uh, Bishop able to just pull away on that one a little bit at the end so right yeah Bishop showing they've got some young guys who have a lot of basketball talent a few of their point guards don't have a lot of height but they can uh, they can handle the ball well they finished around the rim well and they played good defense so um, you know, they, they got a lot and you know, they got some young guys here on varsity too, so they, they've got a bright future ahead of them after this game, after this year's over as well. Obviously, Brady Feller uh, just recently scored his 1500th point uh, just the other night, so um, obviously a big score uh, for Bishop down there. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't had an opportunity to watch these guys play other than I watched a little bit of their game against Kenmere earlier in the year. Kenmere gave them a, a pretty good run. Uh, Zimmer was hot that night and kept those guys in the game. So uh, it'd be fun to see them live here. Yep. Feller, one of those Bishop names that you've heard a lot yeah. over the years. Yeah, he's a, he's a pretty stout kid. Uh, put together well, and uh, it'll be a challenge for us, that's for sure. Starting wise, uh, you know, we're, we're looking at 6'6", 6'4", 6'2", 6'3", 5'10", so obviously probably uh, got a little height advantage on our ranchers, yeah. but uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to move the ball well and get some open looks. Right, yeah, it's pretty interesting to see how we uh, decide to front uh, Ramsey and and try to come back over the top, but he you know, catches the ball well, moves well, and, and from what I saw, he passes well away from the double, too. So it's going to be a, a difficult challenge in, in the low blocks. So we're about ready to have our national anthem, and then we'll be getting started with our game, starting lineups just shortly.
Well, Brad, ready to get this one underway, huh? Yep. Rancher's going with all seniors on the court to start it out. Bo's going to have a tough one on this <laughs> jump, I think. Yeah, I think. <laughs> he, he gave a pretty yeah, valiant yeah, effort yeah, there. Yeah, he did. He did. Tip controlled by Bishop Ryan. Merck gets it to Walls. They go right inside to Walls. There's Feller, three-point attempt. Hard off the rim there. Angit pulls in the rebound. Good job by Angit uh, getting, uh, getting up, getting a seal on that rebound. They were crashing pretty hard. Fraunfelter, right side, gets it to Schroeder. Schroeder working on Feller. Fraunfelter back to Schroeder. And get resets for the ranchers. Schroeder, seven seconds on the shot clock. He goes to Fraunfelter, opposite side, shot short. Fraunfelter with his own rebound, gets it to Kersley for two. Ah, no shot by uh, Fraunfelter following his shot and uh, dropping it in to Kersley. First two of the game for Bo Kersley. Hand off there. Merck, down low to Johnson, and there's a three by yeah. Feller. Second uh, three-point attempt for Feller, has a nice soft touch. Fraunfelter. Angit, working off the screen, goes in the corner to Schroeder. Schroeder pulls the trigger there. That one bounces around and goes in for three. Rattles around and the senior gets the roll on senior night. Merck brings it up for the Lions. Feller. Feller looks inside the walls. Walls working down low on Kersley. There's a shot there, three point attempt by Johnson. Kersley. They go back inside to Johnson. He comes around. And he's going to draw a foul. Yeah, nice rebound by Walls. Kersley having position on that, but Walls just with his length able to go up over to the top and get it. Creates another opportunity for Ryan at Ryan here. First personal on Luke Fraunfelter. Sends Ian Johnson to the line. His first shot, no good. Second one up, nothing but net. 5-4, rancher lead. Schroeder gets it across the timeline for the ranchers. In the corner to Fraunfelter. Back to Fraunfelter, Fraunfelter drives. Little jumper there for two. Luke Fraunfelter, first two of the game. 7-4, yeah. rancher lead. Nice look, and that's a shot we've seen Luke uh, make more and more as the season's gone along, a little mid-range jump shot. Merck had some contact there, but no call. Ranchers come away with the rebound there, ahead to Angit. Hands that one off to Schroeder, off mm. the front of the rim. Kersley fighting for the rebound there. Merck finally tracks it down for the Lions. They go ahead to Feller. Feller behind the back dribble, hands off to Walls. Johnson. Shot there, too hard. Ingot looking ahead to Schroeder. Minot Ryan uh, so far in this game staying with a man-to-man -man look. Ingot drives on Merck in the corner to Schroeder, pulls the trigger. That one's a little bit short. Rebound comes away there to Connor Thompson. They go ahead to Feller. Ranch is also going man here. 
Feller inside of the big guy, Walls for two. Yeah, nice look from Feller to Walls. Kersley almost uh, gets a finger on that. But uh, good catch and finish. 7-6, Rancher lead, 4-14 left in the first quarter. Engett working off the screen, drives on Merck, scoop shot, puts it up, but too hard. Walls rebounds that one. Ahead now to, to, to Johnson. Three-point attempt is way off the mark, out of bounds. Why not giving a, a little bit of a man look, a press look here, but we'll see if they back off as we get in there. They go ahead to Schroeder, and Schroeder to Fraunfelter, all the way for two. Nice job of the ranchers breaking the press there. Walls down low there for two. Four points in the game for Ramsey Walls. Fraunfelter gets it to Engett. Back to Fraunfelter in the corner to Grubb. Schroeder, hands off to Angett. Schroeder's gonna drive there, get it to Kersley. Ranchers look to reset here. Working off the screen there, Angett takes a three-pointer, that's too hard. Walls with the rebound there. Feller brings it up. Brady Feller's gonna pull for three. That one's short. Schroeder, nice box out and rebound. Ranchers ahead right away to yeah. Fraunfelter, but that one's blocked from behind by Connor Thompson. Kind of an interesting fast break. We get the rebound, pass it back, and then Tyson says, let's go, and, and gets it up. And gets, gets a look for Fraunfelter, just blocked away. Angett gets it into Grubb. Grubb goes back up top. Schroeder in the corner to Grubb. Top of the key, Engett. Engett's looking to drive. Goes inside to Kersley. Mm. Kersley loses the handle on that. Merck comes away with it, pushes ahead. That one off the hand of Jet Lundin. New player in for the, for the Lions. And now we've got Justin Grubbs, senior checking out. Jaden Bullinger is coming in. 9-8 rancher lead with 2.30 left in the first quarter. A good, good couple minutes for Justin. Uh, not usually starting this year, but he's contributing more and more as the season went along. Bullinger right away tries to go down low to Kersley, taken away, but there's Tyson Engett. And there's Luke Fraunfelter for two more. Six in the game for Luke Fraunfelter. 11 8 rancher lead. Merck drives. New player in, number 22, Brett McKay for the Lions. Lundeen drives baseline, stepped out of bounds. Possession to the Ranchers. 11-8 with 11.51 left in the first quarter. Brady Feller comes back in, Walls checks out. Schroeder gets it to Engett, right back to Schroeder. They get it across the line just in time. Yeah, just a second to spare before the 10-second uh, call would have been. That one's uh, intercepted down. there by Brett McKay. McKay will bring it up. Lundeen. McKay. And there's Ian Johnson, shot off the back of the rim. Tyson Engett comes up with it, gets it ahead to Schroeder. Schroeder trying to draw the contact there, and he does. That one's going to go down on Ian Johnson, his first Really a close one for foul. Ian Johnson. Uh, had the position, went up, but uh, just in the end, Schroeder brings it back a little bit and gets him to reach across him. Schroeder's first attempt is short. Lucas. Now Bo Kersley checks out. Lucas. Lucas Parslow checks in for the Ranchers. 
Schroeder second, short as well. Yeah. Games like this, you need to. Lundin, to top shots. of the key. Goes to Feller. Hand off to Johnson. Back to Lundin. Feller cross court pass there. Johnson shot off the mark there. And now Feller's going to pull up for three. And he's got it. Tough transition. Ranchers are unable to get that rebound, get their hands on it. Brady Feller ties the game with that three pointer. Schroeder in the corner to Parslow. 27 seconds on the game clock. Couple seconds between game and shot clock here. Ron Felter looking for an opening. He's going to drive all the way. Just about puts that one in, but Feller comes away with it. 12 seconds on the clock. Looks like Feller's going to take the last shot here. He crosses over, loses the handle, but Lundin puts that up, and that's going to do it. 11-11 tie ball game, first quarter. Well, that was a really nice first quarter, Jarrett. Um, both teams matching kind of blow for blow. We saw, we saw a little bit. Um, both teams missing a few shots that maybe they would put in, but defense is there for them. Ranchers is going to be key tonight. They're going to have to score in transition a little bit. Uh, and then when they do get into their half-court shot, they're going to have to be patient. And, and a couple of the shots that they made early were late in the shot clock where they've made Ryan play defense for 25 seconds. So as I'm watching it, can the ranchers get out on breaks? Can they create some steals and get some easy buckets that way? Because with, with Ryan's length inside, it's going to be tough to score in the paint. Absolutely. One of the things I got to shout out tonight here is uh, the Powers Like Dollars for Scholars home game sponsor program that we do. Game tonight in memory of Luke Nordloff. I see at least 84 names on this list, and I'm sure there are more, and there will probably be more added. What a great program, and thanks to all of those sponsors for that donation. Feller goes ahead, and he scoops that one in for two. Thirteen, eleven. Lions open up a two-point lead. Fraunfelter, back to Fraunfelter, off the pick there, he gets it over to Parslow, Parslow shot short, Feller comes down with the rebound, Feller pushes ahead, Merck, they go back inside the walls, try the little alley-oop there, oh. but that one's Little little showtime and it was there. Just got himself a little too far under the bucket, I think. In the corner to Parzlo, he pulls the trigger from three off the front of the rim. Bullinger rebounds that, puts it up. And Feller comes down with a rebound. Feller ahead there to Connor Thompson. That one's taken away. Engett on the break, gets it over to Bullinger for two. That's just what we're talking about. They're going to need to create some steals, create turnovers, and get points off the break. First two of the game for Jaden Bullinger. Feller. Drive there by Connor Thompson, and he's going to draw contact. Good take by Connor going with the left hand layup. That one's going to be first personal on Grayson Schroeder. Second team foul for the Ranchers. Sending Connor Thompson to the line to shoot a pair. First one's in and out. Second one, good. 14-13, Lions lead. <laughs> so Fraunfelter picks up a charge fall on that one. That's going to be his second personal. That one was close. It was bang, bang, yeah. bang. Probably was ill-advised to try to dribble through that trap. 
Merck goes into Feller. Feller working on Bullinger. Jumper fade away there. Two points for Brady Feller. Five in the game for Brady. 16-13. Fraunfelter ahead to Bullinger. Mm. Bullinger, his pass intercepted. And now they go ahead to Feller. He lays that one in for two more. So seven points for Brady Feller. 18-13. Lions lead. Schroeder in the corner to Parslow. Nice rotation by Parslow to Bullinger, but his shot's a little off the mark. Connor Thompson pulls in the rebound there. Gets it to Feller. Feller inside the walls. Baby hook turnaround there. No good. And there's Ingot threading the needle, but Schroeder has nowhere to go. Yeah, he was, he was caught in a tough spot there. Now we're going to have a timeout called here, 30-second timeout. And Charge to the Lions. So with 4.58 left in the half, we've got an 18-13 Lions lead. Yep, you know, it's been a tight game. Ryan was able to create that offensive charge, which kind of was the same as a turnover, and they got their hand on a pass down there and was able to score off both of those. Just feels like one of those games where um, the errors are going to become magnified. you, you got to play a really good basketball game to stay with these guys. You get trapped down underneath there with Schroeder, you know, you got 6'6 six, six and 6'4 six, on you. Yep. It's a tough situation. You almost have to just throw yourself into them to try to create contact and a foul. He used to be into the lineup, and Grubb is back in as well. He used to be giving uh, the ranchers a little bit of length and athleticism. Thompson. In the corner to Walls. His shot's short. Connor Thompson almost came over the top there, but... Schroeder to Engett. And get working on Lundin. Works off the pick there, gets it over to Husby. Husby jumper, and that one's good for two. Husby had a couple of nice quarters in the JV game tonight, was able to make a couple of threes and a couple of jumpers. And uh, if, if he can give you some offense, that is uh, going to be really valuable for the ranchers tonight. Lundin being guarded by Engett. Gets it over to Johnson. Now Mert, Johnson thought about the three. And now Lundin will shoot the three and Grubb comes up with the rebound, gets it ahead quickly to, to Huseby. And that one, looks like they yeah. said that one was off. Yeah, that one well, was, the, both the refs blew the whistle and neither, neither one really knew what to call. So, uh, and I'm not sure either standing here which way it yeah. went. But <laughs> It went off of a foot of the lion, but I didn't see whether Kyle hit it after that or not. Right, right. So Feller back into the game after a quick breather. Lundin brings it up, goes to Walls. Yeah, maybe you should have came and checked the monitor on that one for us. That one's sent back there. Return to center by Husby. On Johnson's shot there. They go into Walls. Now Feller working on Schroeder in the corner to Lundin. Lundin drives, tries to hand it off to Walls there, but that one's knocked away. Last touch by the Lions. Yeah. Probably an ill advised pass from Bo there. Probably lucky Ryan got a hand on it. Kersley. Grub in the corner there, and he's got a three. First three of the game for Justin Grubb. They go up high there to, to, to Johnson, but that one's tipped out of bounds. So 18-18, Ranchers battling back to a tie game. Pressure again being brought by the Lions. Schroeder breaks the pressure, tries to go down low to Bow. 
Tough drop off. Walls takes that away. Grubb scrapping there with Thompson, but Thompson unable to keep control. Now Lundin with three down in the corner. His first three of the night. 21-18. Kersley unable to handle the pass there. Ooh, they give one back to us. And they give that one back, trying to go over cross court to Lundin. Now Coach Carlson's going to call himself a 30-second timeout. Yeah, I think Rancher's got that thing tied back up at 18-18 and then uh, left Lundin open the corner. You can see a couple of players uh, discussing who should have got out there, and I think Jordan just wanting to settle them down for the last two and a half minutes, say, you know, we're right in this at a three-point game. Let's make some good decisions and make sure we're going into the locker room with the momentum. Like you say, they can make those good passes. They can they can turn those into transition buckets there, you know. Because yep. we're getting the numbers on the backside, we just got to make good passes. Yep. So it'll be Rancher's ball. Get it to Schroeder. Schroeder gets it across. Kersley in the corner to Husby. Husby's going to drive baseline. That one's off Merck into the crowd there. Just about gave Terry oh. Grubb some, a souvenir there. Yeah. Everybody's awake over there now. In the corner to Grubb there. Grubb almost loses it. Gets it over to Husby, and then they do lose it. Ahead to Feller, but there's Schroeder to Ball. pick it right back. Schroeder's going to take that one all the way to the rack for two. Five points in the game for Grayson Schroeder. Nice hustle play by Grayson. Uh, getting in there, getting after it. 21-20, Lions lead. We go inside to Feller. Feller's working down low. Little touch shot there for two. Yeah, Feller's Nine points in the game for Brady Feller. In the corner to Grubb. He pulls the trigger for three. That one's a little bit too hard. Merck tracks it down. And there he's going to be called for the travel on that one. Saw what he was looking for ahead. Just kind of got it caught on his hip a little bit yep. there. Just pinned it. So Lundin out. And in back in the game is Brett McKay for Lions. Schroeder. Gets it to Husby. That one's tipped away there by Johnson. Couldn't quite see what happened down in the corner. See, you just look at their iPad right there, Brad, yeah. and you can. I can see the corner <laughs> then. <laughs> yeah. Pitcher and pitcher. A minute left. Angit. Hands off to Grubb. Husby thought about the three for a second, but get it over to Angit. Angit's going to pull up for three. That one's short. Husby on the rebound there, but knocked away. Johnson brings it up for the Lions. Now Feller. What a 12-second difference between the uh, clock and the shot clock here. Feller working on Bo. Pulls up for three. His shot short. Husby skies for the rebound on that one. Branchers have an opportunity to take a last second shot. Jordan telling them, uh, let's slow it down, get one good one. Angit, hands off to Grubb. Over to Schroeder. Schroeder working off the screen there. Gets it in the corner to Grubb. Pulls the trigger for three, and he's got it! <laughs> Tie ball game, and there's Tyson Angit at there the buzzer! Goes. Count that one! Well, that, that gets the crowd going right there. Uh, Ranchers, you know, we talked about that timeout. We wanted to go into the halftime with the momentum. Jocelyn Grubb, beautiful shot from the three-point line and the steal at the horn, just what the Ranchers need. That's some exciting basketball right there. Apologize yep. if it's a little loud in your living rooms there. We well, got a little excited there. That's what they're paying for at home, Jared. They <laughs> yeah. want to hear your excitement. Yes. 
So 25-23, the Powers Lake Ranchers up over the visiting Bishop Ryan Lions, the number four um, in the ranking this last week. Man, what a Ooh. great first half. Yeah, Gets you, the blood flowing in all the basketball yeah. fans. You know, for the ranchers, I don't. I think this is uh, just the kind of half that they would have wanted to draw up. You know, kept the score low. They played good defense. Uh, kept the pressure on them. You know, the further this game goes into the third and fourth quarter, if this game is close, um, you know, we're, we're kind of playing with house money. Ryan, Ryan's coming in ranked. They might get tight a little bit. Well, we're going to let them play a little bingo here. We'll step away for a few minutes, and we'll come back with some uh, halftime stats for you.
Okay, we're back with some first half stats. First for the visiting Bishop Ryan Lyons. Uh, leading the scoring for the Lions is Brady Feller, the senior with nine points. Colton Feller with five. Ramsey Walls with four. Jet Lundeen with three. Ian Johnson and Connor Thompson with one apiece for a total of 23 first half points for the Lions. Only one foul in the first half for the Lions. It was called on Ian Johnson. For the Ranchers, they were led in scoring there with with uh, the two seniors, Luke Fraunfelter and Justin Grubb, each with six. Grayson Schroeder with five. Tyson Engett with two. Bo Kersley, two. Jaden Bullinger, two. And Kyle Huspe with two. Total of 35 first half points for the Ranchers. Personal fouls for the Ranchers. Fraunfelter with two and Schroeder with one. So 25 first half points or 35 first half points on here? I wonder. I'm sorry, I said 35, yes, yeah. 25, yeah. yes. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself here. Yeah. Well, each each one of uh, the uh, five seniors for the ranchers able to get in the scoring column. It was good to see on senior night. Absolutely. So here we go with the second half. Merck starts it out. Gets it to Feller. Feller into Walls. Rotation back inside there. Nice pass is there. All the way around the horn to Walls for two. Ranchers having to double down in the post and, and Ryan just moving the ball well, finding the open guy. Ranchers get it across the timeline just in time. Bullinger three point attempt left wing, that one's too hard. Walls tracks down the rebound on that. Gets it ahead to Johnson. Merck, and now Feller. Johnson pulls the trigger to right wing three. Thompson with the rebound there. Johnson tries to go inside. Schroeder knocks it away. Merck drives. Kicks it over there to Johnson. His shot off the mark, but rebounded there by Connor Thompson and put back for two. 27-25, Lions lead. Two big possessions for the Lions off the bat. Making Ranch. the Ranchers play a lot of defense and, and capitalizing on some uh, extra rebounds. Engett sets up for the Ranchers. Working off the screen from Kersley. He's going to go all the way. Put that one up. But that one's a little bit short. Merck. Feller goes, tries to go inside the walls, turn around off the mark there. But Johnson battling for that rebound and puts it in for two. That's three offensive boards for Ryan to start this uh, second half. Three points in the game for Ian Johnson. 29-25 lead. Schroeder gets it ahead to Fraunfelter. Jumper there is too hard. Kersley battling for the rebound, but it the Lions come away with it, and then they quickly throw that one away off of Merck's hand. And a sloppy pass by uh, the Lions, and they had all the momentum going for them right there. Johnson checks out, and in comes Jet Lundin. Ranchers push ahead, Fraunfelter, runner in the lane there, off the mark. Walls clears the rebound, gets it ahead to Lundin. Lundin, they go inside there, and that is Connor Thompson putting in two more. Five points in the game for Connor Thompson. So 31-25 lead for the Lions. They go down low to Kersley. Kersley back to Schroeder. Schroeder's going to pull a three-pointer. That one's too hard. That one's off the hand of the Lions. Yeah, nice look for uh, Grayson Schroeder on the three ball off the uh, interior feed. Just in and out for him. Into Schroeder. He's working in there on Brady Feller, and he puts it home for two. Six, seven points in the game for Schroeder. Lundin to Merck. Merck's going to pull a three-pointer. That one's off the left side, but there again, Connor Thompson with two. Points on the rebound there. The Ranchers quickly ahead to Schroeder for two. 
So 30 second timeout called now. Coach Carlson, 33-29 with 4.43 left in the third quarter. Ranchers kind of going a little bit uh, cold there at the beginning of the third yep. quarter, Brad. Well, able to get a transition bucket there, that really helped him out. Gives Jordan an opportunity to call a timeout with some good vibes and then talk through what's going on here. Ryan's being a little more patient on the offensive end when they get into their half court set. Um, they're working inside out. A uh, couple of the shots haven't went for them, actually. They've had good looks that haven't went. But also they're getting, I think that's their fourth offensive rebound here in, in halfway through this third quarter. No Gonna doubt. have to figure out how to keep them off the glass. No that's doubt. <laughs> no doubt Coach Carlson yeah. is preaching the, uh, the uh, box out. Well, it gets difficult because we're helping down low, which means you're leaving somebody on the opposite block. And if the uh, shot goes up, you've got to get back to them. Lundin gets it down low. Over in the corner to Merck. Three-point attempt way off the mark, but Lundeen is right there. And that foul is going to be called on Bo Kersley. That's going to be his first personal. Again, fifth first offensive rebound there for him. First team foul for the Ranchers in the second half. Lundeen able to make good on his first. Four points in the game for Jet Lundeen. Bullinger and Kersley step out. We got Parslow and Husby back in. Lundin second off the front of the rim, but bounces home and goes regardless. They go ahead to Schroeder, and now Husby. Husby going to scoop that one in, but off the back of the rim. Lundin in the corner to Merck. Merck finds a cutting... Cutting Ian Johnson there for two. Five points in the game for Ian Johnson. He used to be kind of found himself in a trailing position defensively there. Got to anticipate that cut. 37-29. Now we're going to have a foul called there. Tyson Engett on the drive. That's going to be a block called on Connor Thompson. First personal and first team foul for the Lions. Schroeder, nice position in there. Gets himself two more. 11 in the game for Grayson Schroeder. Walls working down low. Just about had it taken away, and then he bounced that one off the bottom. Lost the handle on that. Possession to the Ranchers. 37-31 lead for the Lions. 3.39 left in the third. Engett gets it across the timeline to Parslow. Back to Engett. Back to Parslow. Schroeder. Ranchers trying to get in their set here. Now Engett's going to drive, kick the corner to Fraunfelter. Three point attempt way off the mark. Walls with the rebound. Now Feller pushes ahead. Feller in the corner to Lundin. Lundin drives. Nice little jumper there in the lane for Jet Lundin. Seven points for Jet. Yep. Jet showing some ability to take the ball to the hoop. Ian Johnson whistled for his second foul there. Engett gets it over to Fraunfelter. Top of the key to Husby. He thought about it. Fraunfelter being pressured there by Johnson. Now Husby pulls the trigger. No rebounds there for the ranchers. Lundin pulls it away. Lundin inside the walls. Walls working down low. Gets it over to Feller. Nice touch there by Feller for three. 12 points in the game for Brady Feller. That one's ta nearly taken away by 
Johnson, but in the corner to Grubb, and it's senior night tonight. Another three, three points, three threes in the game for Justin Grubb. Scoop shot there by Engett. Thought he had the foul there, but no call. I'm not sure. Nice dribbling there by Feller, but Walls can't finish. 42-34, Lions lead. Fraunfelter hands off to Husby. Husby inside to Schroeder. Grub again. Oh, that one just hard. Yep. Thought we were going to have a four-peat there yep. for a second. That yeah, would have brought the crowd to their feet. Lundin to Feller. Feller pulls the trigger. That's short. Engett skies for the rebound. Now he pushes ahead. Nice pass there. That one's rejected by Walls. Lundin. Johnson cross court pass to Feller. He pulls up for a long three pointer, and this one he's got. Yep. So Feller, two quick threes. If he threes. catches it in rhythm, shoulders squared, percentages are pretty high. Three threes in the game for Feller. Schroeder hands off to Engett. Engett pulls up. Little jumper there for Tyson Engett. That's a big shot for the ranchers there. Four. 30 seconds here left in the uh, third quarter. Four points in the game for Tyson Engett. You can still see that favoring that ankle, yeah. that right ankle, yeah. evident in that last shot there. The will is there, but he just doesn't have that burst that we're used to seeing for the last Absolutely. Three, four years. One thing he does have is heart. Yes. That kid is determination. Walls goes to Johnson, top of the key. Bounces around, Hughesby skies for the rebound, gets it to Engett, four seconds on the clock, gets it to Grubb, nice pass underneath, good fake there by Fraunfelter for two. Bounce it, boy. And there wasn't, there wasn't point three seconds left on that shot. Well, that was a nice, <laughs> nice passing there by the ranchers. So that's gonna do it for the third quarter. 45 to 38, Bishop Ryan Lyons leading the ranchers. The ranchers again, the last four points. Uh, Tyson with the jump shot and then that transition at the end. That's uh, big for momentum going into the fourth quarter. Grubb the senior, a th three threes in the game for him coming out shooting. You know, we've had a few of those shots that just didn't fall. Grayson had a nice uh, look there, didn't yep. fall. Lucas had a couple of them, just a little bit short. Mm -hmm. um, some of the some of the drives there that maybe was a little bit of contact, but no, yeah. no call, no yeah. finish on those. So that hopefully last, we can. Uh, that last drive that they didn't call and they both ended it up. Uh, in my view, he he wasn't the primary defender and he was in the restricted area. I'm not sure how they don't call that. Yep. Pretty clean game, uh, really though overall. I, you know, officials doing a nice job yeah, on it. Uh, pretty sure. clean game, played by both sides yep. here. So. Into Husby. Husby loses the handle temporarily, but gets it to Schroeder. Schroeder in the corner to Grubb. Back to the top of the key. Over to Fraunfelter. Fraunfelter hands off. Now they try to go back inside to Husby, but that one's taken away by Walls. Yeah. Feller being pressured by Schroeder. Johnson hands it back to Feller. Feller thought about the three, I think, there yep. from the white line. Johnson, nice fake there, a little floater in the lane, no good. But big walls there. Yeah. And that's gonna be a foul on Kyle Heesby. It's gonna be Kyle's first, second team foul for the Ranchers. Yeah. Sending Ramsey walls. The story of the second half has sec definitely been offensive rebounds. Ramsey Walls, sophomore there for the Lions, misses his first. That's a nice looking sophomore, Jarrett. Yeah, he's got a lot of good years ahead of him here to play, no yeah. doubt about it. And yeah. Nails his second one, seven points in the game for Ramsey. The roster lists him at 6'6", six, six, but I bet his wingspan is bigger than that. Grubb in the corner again, that one's a little bit too hard. Schroeder's track. 
Tracks that one down, gets it to Fraunfelter. Back to Engett, he sees the opening and he scoops that one in for two. Six points in the game for Tyson Engett. There's a little bit of a flash of what we uh, usually expect from Tyson. 46-40, Lions lead. Walls to Merck. Merck drives, scoop shot there. Oh, <laughs> Ramsey Walls goes way up high and just tips that one over the rim. Just right on the rim, too. Hand off to Grubb. Grubb hands off to Fraunfelter. Back to Engett, top of the key. Schroeder. Screen there, little miscommunication there. They get it ahead. Merck gets it to Johnson. And he's got two. 50 to 40. Lions open up a 10 point lead. Fraunfelter. To Schroeder, backdoor cut there to Inget for two. We've seen that play a couple times. Yes. yes, we have. Feller goes to Merck. Merck goes, tries to go inside, and that one goes off of the hand of Connor Thompson out of bounds. Possession to the ranchers. Well, this is going to be uh, a pretty key minute, minute and a half here for the ranchers if they can cut the lead a little bit. Stay in this game. Over to Angit. Angit hands off to Fraunfelter. Back in the corner to Angit. Little screen and roll there to Schroeder. Schroeder tries to go down low to Husby, but that Husby one's knocked out there, of bounds. Yeah. Angit the inbound. Gets it into Schroeder. Little shot there from the elbow. Grayson Schroeder coming up big. A six point game here with 5.20 to go. 13 in the game for Grayson Schroeder. Go inside the walls. And he's got two more. Now we're gonna have a timeout called. Yeah. That's just really tough to defend. Yeah. 30 second timeout called by the Lions. We tried fronting walls and trying to bring help to the backside, but it gets laid up there at 10 and a half feet and he's able to just grab it and uh, easy reverse layup for him. You see, you can't teach height, Jarrett. Yeah, that, that's 100% correct. He's got, the, he's got the height, but he's got the skill to go with it, too. So with 5.08 left in the game, 52-44, Lions lead. Lions coming out with a little bit of pressure up front. Ranchers get it across the timeline. Little kick by Jet. Jet Lundin with the kick ball. Husby in the corner for three. That one's short. Ingett battles for the rebound. Tries to go across court. And now we're going to have a foul called there. That's going to be a blocking foul on Grayson Schroeder, his second personal. Third team foul for the Ranchers. Lundin gets it across the timeline. Feller. Lundin into Feller. Feller working on Schroeder. Nice pump fake there. Yeah. And he's going to shoot two. That's a difficult one. Ranchers having to make a decision if they're going to come over and give him help there. They did, but it was a little bit too late. So two quick fouls on Grayson Schroeder there. Sends Feller to the line. Makes good on his first. And on his second as well. 54, back to a 10 point lead for the ranchers. Tough, tough. And now we're gonna have a reach in fall on Jet Lundin called from behind. I thought it was a fall earlier in that possession. Yeah, that, 
He was able may to, well have been. He was able to keep his feet and keep the ball, and then the second was a little bit lighter, but I think they needed to call it. Ranchers go inside to Schroeder. Schroeder gets Lundy or gets uh, Feller in the air and drives a foul on him. Kind of a taste of his own medicine after the last post up on the other side of the court. Nice pump fake there by Schroeder. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Schroeder nails his first one. Second one off the mark. But Huesby gets a rebound, but then gives that one away to Lundeen, and now yeah. we have a reach-in foul called there. And Fortune had an opportunity there off the offensive rebound. First personal there on Tyson Engent. Fifth team foul for the Ranchers. Lundeen brings it across. Huesby tried to get it away from Walls there. Back inside to Johnson, and now we're going to have a foul call there. So all of a sudden... <laughs> all of a sudden they woke we, up a little bit here. We, yeah, they, all of a sudden the whistles are out. Second personal on Crow, Kyle Huesby. not quite liking that one, and I understand why. It looked like the ball was loose before the call, call was blown, but I think there probably was a push earlier on. Ingot pushing ahead there, and he's going to count that one. Ten points in the game for Tyson Ingot. Chance to make it 11. That one's going to be called on Brett McKay, his first personal. That's the fifth team foul on the Lions. Ingot makes good on his three-point play. Yep. 11 points in the game for Tyson Ingot. You're going to think... Uh Jordan calling this timeout after the three-point play, just letting the guys know, hey, we're only down six here. We've got four minutes to go. We can keep playing with these guys. Absolutely. Right? We just got to play smart basketball. You don't have to take too many chances yet. I, even on that last defensive, it looked like we were reaching a little bit. Um, got ourselves out of position a couple times. Keep the basketball in front of you. Make them make the play here. Yep. But uh, it's looks, been a fun to be night. A, looks to be a, an exciting finish yep. for this one. It's, it's been a Everyone's going to get their money's worth. What we've seen over the last five or six games with, with the ranchers, with Tyson being uh, not himself, uh, a lot of guys have stepped up and played better basketball. Earlier in the season, it seemed like we were uh, looking to him. You know, we were, they weren't looking for their own shot. They Absolutely. Were, they were getting it to him in, in places where uh, shot clock was getting low and and getting out of the way and, and uh, now they're sharing the basketball better and Tyson's sharing the basketball better you know he's he's trying to get these other guys involved and it's it's made for a more balanced basketball team we've seen it with Hughesby we've seen it with Jaden Bullinger we've seen it with Grubb and Schroeder yep. you know stepping up here to tonight to to help lead the way so Lundeen brings it across They try to go inside, Huesby. Oh, wow. that one's tipped out of bounds there by Ramsey Walls. Yeah, it's a real good effort by Kyle to try to get in front of that. Showing his athleticism a little bit there. Yep. Engett gets it across the timeline. He has that one taken away by Feller, or I'm sorry, yes, Brady Feller. Yep. Feller goes ahead to Lundeen. Lundeen's gonna drive on Grubb. Put up a little floater there for two. Smart play by Lundin, giving a ball fake, getting our uh, blocker nine, up. Nine points, and there's Brady Feller to pick that one. His three-point attempt, no good. And Johnson over the top of Huesby there. So McKay checks out. Back in the game is Connor Thompson, number five. Get it in to Feller. Yeah. Nice shot there yeah. by Brady Feller. 59-48. Lions lead. Ingot. 
In the corner to Fraunfelter. Hands off to Husby. Husby inside to Bullinger. Bullinger gets it back to Husby. Engett resetting. Being pressured by Lundin. Gets it to Schroeder. Schroeder back door there to Ooh. Bullinger. Bullinger has a nice look. I think the height inside just bothered him. Lundin gets it to Johnson. Lundin on the quick step there, but Tyson Eggett knocks that one away. Knocks it off his thigh, so uh, turnover on the Lions. Here with 2.20 to go. <laughs> Ranchers need something right here. 59-48, Lions lead. Go to Fraunfelter in the front court there. He splits the double team there. All the way to the rim for two, Luke Fraunfelter. 10 points in the game for Luke. Now the Ranchers are going to have to start pressing a little bit. They're going to have to try to start jumping some lanes, taking a few chances. See, see if we can get Dead an ball. open possession. Johnson. Johnson in there. there Husby. Nice job there. Just like you said, Bradley. Yep. He heard me. All the way he to the me. rim, Kyle Husby. Brady Feller, Schroeder all over him. Lundin being pressured by Bullinger. Thompson pulls up for a short jumper. Bullinger with the rebound, gets it to Schroeder. Schroeder ahead to Husby. Husby all the way. I think it's a foul yep. called, yep. I was gonna say, that better be on that one. <laughs> he ripped his arm down pretty good there, yep. but. So that foul. Called on Ian Johnson, his third personal. Six-team foul on the Lions. Kyle Husby to the line to shoot. Kyle's first just off the back right of the rim. Lundin checks out. And now we're going to have a timeout. Called by the Lions. That one's going to be yeah, a full timeout. You would have liked to have seen that last free throw go in, but still has an opportunity to cut this game to six points, a two-possession game. If you can get that, then you can still play defense. You know, you can play for you can play for a stop, but uh, and a three-possession look, then you might have to fall. It becomes critical at this point. Every point when the clock's not running, every point you can get yes. is very critical at this point in the game. One, one thing we don't have up on our board that I'm aware of anyway is is uh, timeouts left. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and I'm not 100% sure that I'm accurate on uh, on what I've got in there. I'm no, like I'm no Randy Peterson here on my scorekeeping. <laughs> well, I know Jordan's called two in this half, and uh, mm -hmm. feels feels like both coaches have have uh, utilized their timeouts tonight. So Husby will be back to the line to shoot his second. See if they iced him or not here. Chance to settle in and nail that one. Oh, tip. And there the ranchers come up oh. with it. Ingot goes up hard and is absolutely oh, nailed there by Feller. I think Feller knew it. But I know. I, they uh, swallowed that one for sure. Uh, great steal, though. Johnson over to Feller. Nice rotation by the Lions. Merck gets it over to oh, Thompson. To now yet, Johnson. No. Ah. And now Grayson Schroeder. That's tough. You get him 20, you know, only uh, 14 seconds left on the play clock. Jordan's having a discussion. So Johnson to the line. Hits that one. 60-53 lead with 
Nails his second one as well. Now the ranchers get it across the timeline here. Got to have a good shot here right away. Luke Fraunfelter, a little hard off the back of the board. Huesby up in his face. And now Feller, Brady Feller, gets it across. He's double teamed there. And he loses that one right off of his hand out of bounds to the ranchers. 36 seconds left. Engett. Engett looking for an opening there. Has that one knocked away. Merck gets it over to Feller. Feller ahead to Walls. Merck. And now we're going to have a foul called there. I believe that one's going to be on Fraunfelter. Yeah, now down eight with 21 seconds. Uh, I would think if the ranchers uh, don't make a buck on the, their next possession, it would probably concede this. So Merck to the line, unable to get his first. <laughs> Tyson just tears it away. Bullinger, Fraunfelter, three-pointer. He's got it. Right. It's not over yet, yep. folks. Just like that. 61-56 with 12.3. Yeah. And win or lose at this point, I mean, the Ranchers have played a pretty darn good game. Had a couple open looks for threes here in these last few possessions. And uh, a steal with a pretty hard no call there. Uh, we could have been I right think, there with them. I think uh, that last drive there, too, with Engett yeah. down there where it was knocked away, you know, he felt like yeah. he, there was a little contact when he split probably, the defenders there, you know. Probably uh, an ill-advised drive going into three guys, but I think what he's thinking is he's going to try to get to the lane and kick it out to whoever is open in the corner, but just wasn't able to get there. And there's some jump around by the DJ here with 12 seconds left. So possession to the Lions. Jet Lundin will inbound. Pressure being put on and the bomb, yes. Well, at least I could say there. Yeah, that was a classy yes. move by a guy who could put a hammer dunk down yes, on us. Yes, exactly. And walk home. But I saw uh, that one coming a little bit yeah. there. Yep. That one third personal on Hughesby puts Feller on the line, yep. his shot short. There again, offensive rebound yep. by Johnson, kicked away there. Yep. yep. Yeah, tip of the hat to Ramsey on that one. He could have, he could have sent us home with a pretty thunder dunk there. And uh, in the end, gives us one more opportunity. Go ahead to Schroeder. Schroeder three point attempt at the buzzer off the left hand side, and that's going to do it, folks. 61-56. The Bishop Ryan Lions come in to the barn and go home with a win. Yep, standing ovation from both crowds. I think the Rancher fans happy with what they saw from the team. And uh, Ryan obviously happy with the win. Definitely got, uh, got our money's worth uh, tonight. It was a fun game. Obviously, you see Tyson Ingett still struggling some with that ankle. Would have been fun to see uh, what what we could have done with him at full strength. Right. But, but he is. Uh, the good news is, each game I've seen, he is getting better. And you know, this yeah. is this is the best he's looked. You know, since that, that ankle went down. And with with a lot of games this week, we were a little concerned if if you should even be uh, putting that much activity on an ankle that needs to get healthy before district break. But uh, Seems like it's getting better for him, so that's that's a positive. So that's going to do it for us, folks. Uh, another year in the books of the YouTube broadcast, the last home game being yeah. tonight. We've got districts coming up. Um, those, I I don't know, are the districts going to be on back? I know the girls' region is for sure. I see the girls' region sure. is, yeah. And I, I, and I think the boys' region is too, I believe, but I don't know. I've been entertaining calls from ESPN. Or, They're looking for a broadcast crew for that, Jarrett, so I don't want to say <laughs> we're done yet for the season. Um, yeah. 
my may, agent's going to talk to their guys, and we'll, we'll see what we can work out. may get picked up on a, on a uh, free agent deal, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for yeah. listening in. We enjoy bringing you the games. It's been a lot of fun this year. Great to see some great basketball action, especially to finish the season like tonight. So Thank appreciate you to everyone Bishop listening Ryan in. Thank you Ryan fans who are listening in tonight. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, have a safe trip home for your fans. All right. Good night, everyone.